Okay, YouTube, I wanted to show you here what I use these oddly shaped parts that I was showing you in my bandsaw video, the shadow line for my bandsaw. So I was cutting these little parts here. So I have those, and then I have these parts that I make. So I'll get cut with various angles and notches and whatnot. And they fit onto a jig like this that holds these pieces in the proper angle. And then that's basically a spacer that goes in the middle. So what these are, we call them our motor mount spacers. So this particular one's for the Toyota four-cylinder engine, the 22R, 22RE. And then we also make a version for the V6, 3-liter V6, and also the 3.4, and that also fits the 2.7-liter four-cylinder engine. We clamp them up and tack weld them, and then have to go through here and weld all the joints there, and that makes up a motor mount spacer. Let me show you how those fit. It's a little bit hard to see here, but this is a motor mount off of a Toyota, this is off of a 22R engine. It's very similar on the V6, just the only change is the angle that they're at. But this piece here would normally bolt to your engine block. And then there's this rubber motor mount here that you can see. That's rubber inside, so there's kind of a steel shell. And then there's a mating bracket to this that is bolted onto the frame and normally you set the motor down run two bolts through here and that's what holds your engine in place and what we do is we make these spacers here so the idea is if my left hand here were the frame bracket here's where the motor would have mounted down here but this spacer raises the whole engine up two inches and then allows you to bolt the motor mount two inches higher which raises your entire engine up. This is the same thing but this is our one inch spacer. With a one inch spacer if you were to make it like this, this is a two inch version, there's enough room you can get in here and put nuts and washers and get a wrench in here but when you go to a one inch spacer there's not enough room to get in there to do anything so what we do for the the lower height spacers is we make them solid and then you bolt this to the motor mount bracket using these holes and then you bolt the motor mount up on the upper set of holes so there's a a set of bolts that come through from the back side into threads, so I still have to thread these. And then you have a set of bolts that go through the front side. So that's our one inch spacer. And that's a two inch spacer. Just to show you here, you can see that the ruler there, zero, there's two inches up there on the top. So that shows you how much thickness the spacer or how much lift it has two inches and this one here go from about there to there is about one inch yeah, so the biggest advantage of raising your engine or your entire drivetrain up is if you look under here under my truck you can see right there is the rear drive shaft you just barely see it and in fact it's about level with the leaf springs and under here right there is where your transfer case output is so that's about the only thing that hangs down you can see right there hangs down just a inch or two so it gives you pretty much a what's called a flat belly And then under here, there's the front drive shaft. So it just gives you more ground clearance under your truck. And it also eliminates almost all of the 
issues you run into with a body lift because you're you're raising the transmission up so your shifters work okay or when you put a body lift on the radiator is attached to the front of the body and so the radiator gets lifted up with the body lift and by raising the engine you're raising the fan that's mounted on the front of the engine on the water pump that gets raised as well so now your your radiator fan shroud all have clearance so you're not having to adjust anything with that so actually in my case i've got a three inch body lift and then I uh, forgot that I only have a two inch motor mount spacer so I've raised my engine two inches raised the body three inches so I still have a little bit of a an offset bracket there for the radiator just to relocate it a little bit I could have raised it three inches but I chose to do two inches because that was plenty and it it gives me a little bit of working room underneath the truck so back to these I guess I have to finish tack welding that one on my jig and then get them both welded and once they cool off I clean them up and give them a coat of paint and they'll be ready to ship out so with these I have to uh, tap threads in all four holes so that's a different uh, task on the shorter spacers but that's one of our more unique products uh, I did want to give a shout out to Drew Person who actually came up with this idea back in the late 1990s is when I saw a set of these on his truck he had made a set but he did, wasn't interested in making any more, so when I learned how to weld, I decided to make my own. And now I've probably made several hundred sets of these through the company. And we ship them all over the world. Not a very common product, but if you want to uh, set your truck up for rock crawling, getting over big rocks... One problem area on the Toyotas is all of the low hanging uh, drivetrain that's on a factory truck. Anyway I just wanted to show you what these odd little shaped pieces of metal that I was cutting in that earlier video are for and I'll put a link to our motor mount spacer page if you want to find out a little more about those and I'll put that uh, link in the video description if you have any questions about these. Uh, post up in the comments section below and as always thanks for watching